Hello everyone, and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today, we have an exciting topic to discuss that takes us on an unforgettable journey through the 20th century. We'll be exploring the life, accomplishments, complexities, and failures of one of the most influential figures in history, Sir Winston Churchill. Join us as we delve into the story of how this remarkable man changed the world and helped humanity prevail during violent and dangerous times. We shall fight on the landing grounds. We shall fight in the fields and in the streets. We shall fight in the hills. We shall never surrender! I'm the great man. I all of To understand the impact of Winston Churchill, let's first explore his early life and background. Winston Leonard Spencer Churchill was born on November 30, 1874, in Woodstock, England. He came from a privileged background, with his father being a prominent British statesman. Despite a challenging childhood, Churchill showed early signs of his potential as a future leader. Churchill's political career began in the early 20th century, and he quickly rose through the ranks, leaving an indelible mark on the world stage. His leadership qualities and innate understanding of the political landscape set him apart as a force to be reckoned with. In 1940, during one of the most perilous times in British history, Churchill assumed the role of Prime Minister. The Nazi war machine was sweeping across Europe, and Britain stood alone against the forces of darkness. It was amidst this chaos that Churchill delivered some of his most powerful speeches. He rallied the British people with unwavering resolve, famously declaring, We shall fight on the beaches, we shall fight on the landing grounds, we shall fight in the fields and in the streets, we shall fight in the hills, we shall never surrender. Churchill's determination to defend democracy and freedom made him an iconic symbol of resistance during these tumultuous times. His collaboration with Allied forces, including the United States and the Soviet Union, played a significant role in the eventual victory against the Axis powers. Churchill's strategic decisions were instrumental in turning the tide of the war. One noteworthy example was his decision to evacuate the British Expeditionary Force from Dunkirk, rescuing over 300,000 Allied troops and preserving them for future battles. This became known as the Miracle of Dunkirk and bolstered morale within the British population. Another major accomplishment of Churchill's leadership was his involvement in the D-Day invasion in 1944. This massive military operation marked the beginning of the end for Nazi Germany. Under Churchill's guidance, Allied forces successfully landed on the beaches of Normandy, paving the way for the liberation of Western Europe. Beyond his wartime achievements, Churchill's contributions extended to rebuilding a post-war world based on democratic principles. He played a key role in the formation of the United Nations, an organization aimed at promoting peace and preventing future global conflicts. They have made a beginning, a brave beginning, that can build a mighty structure for peace. Out of a world of agony and total war has come a charter that must mark a turning point in human history. A new way lies ahead. His steadfast belief in the power of international cooperation to ensure a more just and peaceful world became a foundation for future generations. Sir Winston Churchill's impact on history cannot be overstated. His decisive leadership, unmatched oratory skills, and unwavering determination transformed the course of the 20th century. He helped bring about the defeat of the fascists, safeguarded British democracy, and inspired millions with his indomitable spirit in the face of overwhelming odds. While Churchill is hailed as a hero for his contributions to world history, it is crucial to acknowledge the complexities and controversies surrounding his legacy. Like any figure of such magnitude, Churchill's actions and beliefs were not without criticism. One of the most notable criticisms leveled against Churchill is his controversial views on race and colonialism. He held the belief in the superiority of the British Empire and was a staunch defender of its colonial rule. This stance has understandably faced criticism, particularly in relation to the impacts of British colonialism on indigenous populations. He held the belief in the superiority of the British Empire and was a staunch defender of its colonial rule. This stance has understandably faced criticism, particularly in relation to the impacts of British colonialism on indigenous populations. Churchill's actions during the Bengal Famine of 1943 have also been a subject of great scrutiny. It is estimated that over 3 million people died during this tragic event due to a combination of natural causes and British policies, including the diversion of essential supplies for the war effort. Critics argue that Churchill's negligence and failure to adequately respond to the crisis contributed to the staggering loss of life. 
Furthermore, Churchill's positions on Indian independence have also been seen as problematic. While he is often applauded for his leadership during World War II, his opposition to granting India full independence strained relations and delayed the country's journey towards self-governance. It is essential to approach the complexities and controversies surrounding Churchill's legacy with a balanced perspective. While his accomplishments and leadership during the war cannot be undermined, these criticisms serve as a reminder that even great leaders are not immune to flawed beliefs or actions. As we explore Churchill's life and impact, it is crucial to acknowledge and learn from these complexities and controversies. They allow us to have a more nuanced understanding of history and challenge us to question the narratives that often elevate certain figures to mythical status. Moving forward, following World War II, Churchill faced political challenges and failures. Despite playing a crucial role in the war, his party, the Conservatives, suffered a major defeat in the 1945 general elections. Churchill was replaced as Prime Minister by Clement Attlee, representing the Labour Party. On April the 4th, an epoch in British history ended with the resignation of Sir Winston Churchill as Prime Minister. For the last time, the Cabinet is summoned by the man who had led us to victory in the war. With the characteristic cigar clutched in his hand, the evergreen man of 80 years and 4 months sets out to tender his resignation to the young Queen. However, Churchill continued to have an impact on global politics as an influential figure and statesman. Winston Churchill left an indelible mark on the world. His speeches and writings continue to inspire people today. Churchill's perseverance, resilience, and charismatic leadership style helped shape the course of history. He is remembered for his unwavering commitment to democratic values and his instrumental role in creating a united, victorious front during the Second World War. The impact of Churchill's leadership can still be felt today. His contributions to international relations and his strong stance against tyranny have left a lasting legacy. Churchill's dedication to peace and his pivotal role in the formation of the United Nations further solidify his place in history. In conclusion, it is undeniable that Winston Churchill played a pivotal role in changing the world. Through his accomplishments, complexities, and failures, Churchill remains an iconic figure who stood at the forefront of a turbulent century. His lasting contributions to humanity and his unwavering determination to prevail in the face of adversity truly make him one of the greatest leaders in history. Thank you all for joining us on this remarkable journey through the life of Winston Churchill. Don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the extraordinary stories that have shaped our world.